不要なトラブルに遭わないように注意してくださいこちらは新宿警察署Hello and welcome back to Q Shigai. So today we're just filling up some spaces up in this、uh, city build that we were doing.、Um, last week we started working on this main city part of the building. Of the build? No, it's not a building, is it? It's an entire build. I'm not just doing one building. We started building on the、uh, front here at the city centre, and today we're just going to go and fill some spaces and expand on that. So, yeah, please join me as we do so. First things first, as you'll notice, this annoying train crossing that you can see up top. You'll be happy to know that I do completely overhaul that, and you'll see that in the cinematics there. And it looks so much better than that does because that just looks awful. And it's a bit of a shame because I put a lot of effort and hot work into it, and it just didn't work and didn't look nice. So we went for something different that does function and does work. So I'm quite happy with that. Now, as I said, I'm just filling up some spaces here, and I needed to fill this area in. And this really bugged me that I had this big empty space with holes and odd shapes in between, and it was quite annoying. So, what I ended up doing is I took some walls、um, from the fences networks here and the theme networks as well, and kind of put this slightly raised bit, which makes it look like there's an extra part to the buildings here, and they all kind of interlink into one. Um, and then I just fill it with a load of AC props because of Japan and AC go hand in hand. So I just fill it up completely with that. But it does kind of do the job, and it fills that space in between there. So when you're coming up on the train, you look out to your window, you not just see a big hole, you actually see something there. This area here, because this whole area is a bit weird with this train track going through at a really weird angle、uh, and a bit of a bend there. So it was really difficult to actually. Get this area to do what I wanted to do. So what I end up doing is plopping down a load of different buildings here and keep trying and changing and moving things around. Again, I cut a lot of that out、uh, mainly to keep the video short and also it is extremely repetitive and quite boring to watch. So we go through a few different things here to actually make this area look kind of nice. Again, I'm left with this weird space behind, so I decided to put some shops behind it. Again, in essence of Japan, making the most out of every little space I have in the city, and I put some old-fashioned stores here that I imagined would be there before the city actually got built around it when it was more of a town. It looks really nice. I'll be honest; it's very old-fashioned, traditional, but but kind of fits the area. If that makes sense. So it doesn't really sort of stick out. One thing that I did find annoying here is. This path just before this white building on the end there keeps dipping down, and that's because the train track comes in, and it it just makes the terrain do weird, weird things. I end up playing about with node terrain conforming tools quite a lot, and it just didn't work, and I just couldn't get it to go up because of that area. So what I ended up doing is I end up getting some probable pavement and hiding it, because if you hide it, then it's not there. 
I'm pretty sure that's the same. Um, out of sight, out of mind, as they always say. So now I'm just building up this area here and putting down some shop fronts on these buildings, which I've obviously PO'd because they won't have any road access, being on a pavement, not a road, and thus the carpet won't get collected. Um, and, but I do use the service block cubes uh, in there as well to make them actually function so people can visit them. Good thing about them is they don't give any garbage. Yay. Garbage is so evil. I hate it. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to detail this area up and uh, make it all come to life. And I hope you enjoy this. I'll see you in a bit. So what I wanted to put in this little bit here, as you'll see, is something a bit different. I wanted to put like a, a little shop there, a little bit of commercial, um, but I couldn't find anything nice because what I ended up doing is I ended up using this, which is actually a police station. But with the greatness that is PO, I can make it look what, uh, like whatever I want. So I actually turned it into a door door coffee that I believe would have been, you know, there beforehand. Probably not as a door door, probably as something else. Um, but we're going to make it that and... Uh, yeah it's it's so cool um i love po being able to do things like this just really changes the game for me and makes me be able to go in and make my own buildings without having to go into blender and use the asset creators to do so and yeah i'm really happy with the way this turned out and i hope you like it too
So as you remember from the last episode, I put this random little train station here. Um, and I'm sure people looked at it and thought, what? Why? You didn't really do anything around it. Well, we're going to do it now. When I was uh, staying in Tokyo uh, in Shinjuku, there was this little alleyway that came off from our hotel, which had loads of little shops in and stuff like that. And I wanted to kind of do that a bit. I like those little alleyways, little shopping alleyways. So what I ended up doing here is I put this little one-way road, which just goes the one way to the train station and out the other way. Um, and I put a load of buildings around it, a load of houses and some shops and some stuff like that. And it just, one, it feels a really weird shaped area. That's only weird because I made it weird, but still, it's weird now. And it just looks really nice and kind of makes me feel more, you know, like what I saw there and I'm happy to happy with it in the way it turned out. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to fill up this area here with some buildings and some residential, commercial, a bit of everything, just to kind of fill that space in there. Um, it kind of just works, I find. I spend ages looking for these type of buildings that aren't too tall, that they go through the train track, but also they fit really nice here. Now I'm going into the actual train station itself, and you've got these lovely assets on the workshop, which are under station or under track shops. Um, they're unique buildings, but they look absolutely amazing. 
and they really do fit here and they really work i'll go in again later on with some creative peering just to create a top to them and make them so they come right up towards the uh, base of the train tracks there Okay, so now just moving on to the front of the station here, and it's just filling out a bit of uh, like a plaza area. The usual things, I've got vending machines down there, benches, planters, just making it look really nice and somewhere that people would actually want to visit. In Japan, most train trips, trains, trains, tra 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 going over my words as always, it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't mess up what I'm saying somewhere. This, I put a lot of buildings down and I just it was so repetitive that i just did this really nice little slide shot of it coming into fruition there it was the most repetitive thing i've ever done so i skipped over that for the video you'll be really happy to see that i put the parking spaces the right way around yay me i should get a little badge or a star a gold star someone sent me a gold star i think i deserve it um so many episodes where i've messed this up and i've finally done it right and i'm quite proud of it um so it's a little thing but yeah Okay, so I'm just going to finish up detailing here now and the end of the video is upon us. I really hope you enjoyed it guys. I absolutely had a blast making this. I hope you like the shorter format um, and if I'm skipping over too much, please tell me. Um, and then we'll go back to a slightly longer format and uh, put some more into it. If that's what you're into, then I'm more than happy to do so. As always, if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you're notified when I upload any new video visit my workshop and see my assets if you like them please subscribe to them i put a lot of work into them um i mainly make them for my own stuff here as you can see i use a lot of them in kushikai as i'm making for that but i also release them to the public because why not caring is sharing as they say um and if you are a regular here please leave me a comment and let me know what you'd like to see or what you liked about my videos or disliked please tell me i love reading your comments i do try to uh, comment on every single one of them and let you know what i think and show my thanks don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and i will as always see you here again in kushigai next week have a good one